ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Norris, Leclerc and Max Verstappen. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. How does it feel to be this year's Formula One champion? There are rumours that you're looking for a contract with another team. Is there any truth to that? Appreciate your time. The crowd are here and here in force for what is going to be a fantastic day of racing. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. So here we are at the Albert Park circuit, 3.3 miles around the lake with the street track making for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners here with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole and more completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Sainz, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Gasly, Perez, Stroll and Antonio Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Vettel, Esteban Ocon and Latifi, Joe, Mick Schumacher, George Russell and Nobuharu Matsushita. Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. OK, we've already won the championship, so relax and enjoy this race. teammate by 2.5 seconds.
Some information on Leclerc. They're retiring from the race. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Stop, no more scheduled pit stops. Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony Davidson. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? But there's no question in my mind, it has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.
fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Your team did an incredible job at this track in comparison to last season. Is this something you've been preparing? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Appreciate your time. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend.